Alrighty, so we've done one elo heaven, a gold elo heaven tonight. We found one person. I'm interested to see how he plays against diamond level players. So we're setting up another elo heaven of 10 gold players and to see if any of them perform. And if they do, we're going to take them. We're going to put them on one team. We're going to take the Kronos from the other elo heaven from gold, put them on the other team. And then we're going to build a diamond lobby around the two. And we're going to see if either of them keep up, if either of them look good, if either of them are actually in elo hell. We've done this partially, but I've never fully gone through with two full lobbies. Like we're not going to out 20 elo hell sign up people putting 20 gold players from signups in the elo heaven and giving them an opportunity i've definitely never done this before like to, the, to this extent so we have this game starting and we'll see we have spicier picks i hate seeing another loki we do have some spicy picks could be good could be bad you never know you never know with these, with you gold gamers. Shmeep, he wants to see family. He's gonna be gone for a couple of days. This clear, actually, Terra's clear is pretty solid as long as he's in green. Yeah, Terra's clear is pretty good actually. Holy shit. Terra is such a good early game character now compared to where she ever was. Cthulhu's OP. Cthulhu's got a build on Smite Source, so if you say so. Auto the wave, buddy. Too much time in between not auto increase. <laughs> they are going to get out cleared, though. That is a crazy dash. You just dashed into a full wave. Pop your pods. You basically just ruined your support's early game. You just dashed into six creeps and two gods. And fort. Let's bounce around because that's disappointing to see. This is Fenrir, by the way. Not a cracked Wheelix. Hello, ghost. I've had a good day today. I, just, I worked on a lot of shit. I got your all's points up for sub leagues. Worked on builds on Smite Source. Got to hang out with Lincoln and Sammy for a bit. I got this, uh, the fried fish I've had on stream before, and this shit is just so good every time. It's so fucking good every time. So that was my dinner. Wait, what the fuck happened over here? Hold on. Hold time the fuck out. Yo, ho where are your bro? Four potions. You don't need mana. Wait, where's this blue buff? Oh, there it is. It was just lagging. Uh, yeah, my guy health potions only in the soling. You don't need multi potions. If you do get multi potions, it's one. It's four. You need four health potions, though. You're going to get outboxed right now by a fucking Cthulhu. What is your item? So he's going for animosity. So he's going to get out pressured here early, which I don't think is. Actually, he shouldn't even be out pressured. be kind of even. You burned through all your potions already at one minute. That's crazy. That is crazy. Little things like this, guys, they, they fuck your games up. Just not going to write potions has fucked your early game up. And like you can play and like, oh, it's dumb that it works that way, but it works that way in every game ever. Nice little rotation from Buckeyes. He's walked over a ward. They definitely hear that. They don't know where he is. Good opener. I like that he's on the support. Doesn't pop his cooldown shard, at least I haven't heard it. And he had no follow-up from his team. The uh, team had cleared zero camps, so I don't know if I blame his team for that, but that's wild. This might be a good gank. Wish I could see his passive. Oh no, bad. Now you're just gonna leech from him? That's fucked. You can't miss everything in leech. Ooh. Let's go back and watch that. Kind of guess what happened. Oh, this is the Loki gang.
I really do like that he prioed that, but I hate that Milkman did not prio picking up the Jimmy. Okay, that was weird. Another dash in from Hachi. Dude, you got a chill on the dashing in. Okay, the, the, he's not the one who died. They were playing kind of awkward. Terra playing super awkward. How come you guys in the duo lane, you overcommit at the wrong times? Why is it just the most common thing for you all to like a full wave is there and you just go into the full wave. You didn't prio clearing at all. You just, you're just in. What's up, Blasphemous? How's that going to work? I look at both games and I input the higher score. I think I did it for everybody, but uh, you can always double check. Yeah, Schmidt messed up the scoring in the bronze silver division, so I had to fix a little bit of it. He only kind of fucked up. And then I went through and I, I'm pretty sure I caught all the games. I looked through a lot of matches, so might have messed up something, but I don't think so. All right. I'm over this duo lane. Watch him get a kill as I say I'm over it. One to zero, four minutes in. No Fenrir activity is painful. He's leveling the right abilities, though. He's going Runeforge as well. So that's good. Or Blackthorn. I keep saying Runeforge. He's going Blackthorn. So that's good. Vulcan probably going my build. Kind of interested to see how that goes. Or I say my build, but the Vulcan build I've been spamming. Ooh, I wish he had gone Sigil instead of Warrior's Axe. That builds on Smite Source too. Okay, bro. That's... I think he's gonna get it. Oh! Oh, he got it. Scumbag Anderson ulted for the totem. That's commitment to the team, though. That is a team commitment right there. That's a new one. I've never seen anyone like legit a model just for the totem with zero kill potential. Oh, what are you doing, my guy? Okay, he misleveled his one, I guess, on accident. I hope. Put your turret up a little bit farther there, dude. A little further. Be more confident in your poke on Vul Vulcan. Like, you need to be confident in general, especially with Scylla's ability being down. Yeah. All right, so the way you clear on Vulcan when you're leveling your turret is you three the melee and then you won the whole wave while the turret's hitting and you'll clear way faster. I don't know how you outclear this guy, though. I don't know who's been saying not to go sigil. Is it for the laning phase? Because that's weird. I'm pretty sure he just put up a Cthulhu video like last week with a sigil build. Saying uh, Cthulhu's back with this build. What about Aldo? Thank you for the three months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, YouTube, I get tons of sponsorship opportunity. I just turn most of them down. Because YouTube, they uh, they undercut like a mother because YouTube viewership isn't crazy high, so they know they can. All right, I got We got to get this Fender active, dude. You got to do something. I, re I realize that getting a lot of these lanes is difficult for him, but you can't be Fender you're going in the mid game with no kills. I actually think going Cthulhu without Sigil, you're just worthless. Like, if you can't get away with the Sigil, I feel like you die too quick. Then you, it's why play it. Sigil's mitigations are why you live. I feel like defense and the hyper late like that, you're just dead to everybody. Yeah, we're talking about Cthulhu, not Warriors. We're literally having a conversation about Cthulhu. So why the fuck are you talking about warriors? Yeah, Fender, you maxed the two first. Oh, wait, we got a little, little Gankarino over here. I think targeting was bad. It looked like he opened up on the Charybdis. You can't open up on safety, gods that are safe, like in a safety mode. Good pull. Hey, baby, I looked up today how much it would be to, to get a bas half basketball court of concrete put in. It's a little expensive though, at least what it says online. 
I might make some calls and see. All these ganks are just zero kill potential. The one kill is a dual lane kill off of an over commitment. This is the slowest match I've ever seen a gold. Yeah. Never should that have taken that long. Never should he have lived there. You got lucky this time. Why didn't Hachi ult him? Dude, you guys hold your abilities for nothing. Use them. Try to get kills. Why the Hachi could have just traded with the jungler because that was a horrible gank. That was a, a dog shit gank. What's up, Retro? This is Elo help. Yeah, these guys are definitely gold. I'm never playing Monopoly again on stream. Never again. I've done it twice and both games were ruined by Razy Crazy. I'm never playing Monopoly on stream again. I don't know how he missed the Brutalize at all. That's a good gank, but why the fuck is your ult down? You ulted the totem again? What is this? Like I You should clear the totem with your abilities Also, if you can't hit your three double tap it consistently just level your two It's 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 fine. And, you know, obviously your three is better, but that's if you're very consistent with that shit That's crazy, bro that is crazy. You also have no fizz D, right? Oh, you have a little bit. You got melted. You got fucking melted. Oh, fuck. That's two ults on the totem, and they, that second one gets him killed. Clear the wave, dude. Just focus on clearing and farming. These mid laners never leave the mid lane, and you're not even fighting. If you're fighting and getting caught up in fights in mid, that happens. But if you're not, you need to be farming mid lanes. Like, you're a Vulcan, you don't have these mid harpies on farm. That's a mistake. Does he have tablet online? He does. So he should be spam poking as well in between farming mids. As a mid laner, mid camps, if you can keep them, like, you're a god that can clear them without dying. And then your back camps, the old green buff, that's where you want to be all the time. Good juke. Oh, beads. Honestly, not bad play from the Scylla. Good ult from Milkman. Milkman has been pretty solid. That is crazy dive. I think he misses Brutalize again. I don't think he canceled that. happening over here every ult was just used in every lane in the last two minutes milkman's a solid supporter your sub league yeah he looks still looks good so far i mean he's had lane control and been a part of their both their kills and duo i'll be honest the mana's a no-go so far Fender is a no-go so far. The other three are to be decided. I don't know for this side yet. The supports kind of got me wondering and the Hachis kind of got me wondering. They're, they're like borderline on the no-go so far. A lot of over-commitment from both support entities. See all oh, these autos, these autos, these autos. Uh, save your one to poke. Don't use it to clear. Good autos there. I oh, spoke too soon. They also killed Scumbag Anderson again. 
This man is done so he he holds the totem he does he holds the totem he does That fence kit is very weird, but I actually kind of like it now the more that I've seen it and used it I also just don't play a lot of fender because he feels like shit He held it for the farm How many stacks does he have? He's at 14 stacks. If he can be up near like 30 at 20 minutes, he's in a good spot. What's going on? We have 10 people who signed up for Elo Hell and Gold all playing in one lobby. Elo Heaven, baby. Elo Heaven. If you guys haven't noticed, the title or whatever, what the game is, is in the top. So Gold, Elo Heaven. I always put them as the team names now because everyone complains. So I read you to chat, I do. The middle child. That would be TikTok if I was streaming on TikTok. I'm not streaming on TikTok because I'm doing Elo Hell. This is a very good rotation. Bro, what are these brutalizes? Now, Smite 2 brutalize follows stealth. So maybe this might too. Uh, okay. I wish Vulcan would go for that kill rather than zoning as a mid, but also I don't think him zoning was bad. I think it was pretty good. Silla with a massively late rotation, didn't even clear mid. Vulcan has my build, yeah. My build. It's the build I ran on PTS mixed with Den's build. Don't what's up with all these people going chronos pendant in mid the second one in two games Scumbag Anderson you're cooked. Oh We caught him. Oh Good play from Scylla patient actually worked out. I want to watch this fight He went back for this gank. He never left These are the junglers that have spies. Wait, did he catch him here? They had to have heard that. He's got to know. Yeah, he knows. How does he get a kill here? There's no way. Just go back to base, bro. Also, I got to give this Loki credit. He leveled his one knowing he wouldn't be able to get full threes off on anybody. Which is smart. He gets turned on though, so it's not really that valuable. More, more you know, than mid dies. Julian already has tower. Greedy ass Scylla too. Good greed though. Assuming he's aware everyone's dead. Should we get another? I'm not full screener now. I can't do it. Fango, thank you for the gifted sub, dude. West Burt, thank you for the 10 months. Are these games just extra slow because you guys know I'm watching and everyone's watching? Because, dude, I don't know of any ranked games I've played where there isn't 30 kills at 10 minutes. Uh, after this, I'm going to do an actual ELO Hell. I'm hoping one of these players stands out to put into an ELO Hell. If not, then it's only going to be the Chronos. I'm going to throw up a Diamond Lobby. I'm going to need a Diamond Lobby setup after this game. Like uh, like a twenty two hundred to like twenty, maybe maybe twenty one to twenty four hundred diamond players. Yeah, it's wild to see the same mistakes get made, but just no fighting happen and no deaths happening. 
Yeah, but you shouldn't be going Chronos Pendant and going no cooldown. Spear of Desolation is one of the best fucking mage items early in the game. So foregoing it, like this Scylla is going full pen build and this might be, he's either going Divine or he's going Spear of Desolation, but it's so late. Like you're, he's not gonna have any percent pen. That's a good kill at like the 16 minute mark. The big issue as mages and hunters, when you go into mid game fights, 20 to 30 minutes, is you need to be able to deal with tanks. Now I get it. You're in gold. These guys are in gold. Some of these tanks they play against aren't building right, aren't tanky, are dog shit, whatever it is. But you have to be able to kill them when you do run into good tank players. That was an early alt. Holy crap! You just got played like a fiddle, my dude. You're also Scylla. You don't need to ult that. Your two should be able to out secure everything in the game. In this game. Yeah, Fender is not looking good. Uh, I pretty much have him as a 100% no. Scylla's looking pretty solid though. I just don't like the builds. He could be rotating way better as well. That was the weirdest Hachi dive I've ever seen. But he got that kill, so I can't complain. Now if I'm still here, oh. He should be fine. I'm a little bit late on the Aegis. You want to save that Aegis for once he's hitting you? Good root. Can he hit the three? Ah, he hit him on the back swing. He's a little walked into it. Crazy. All right. I want to jump back and see what's, what the other part of this fight that's going on. Good base positioning. Vulcan should have ulted there because they never would have been able to play around it. They should have ulted into the tower area where they were diving. Good blink. Tur no turret usage so far. That's unfortunate. Gotta use your turret better. Bro, what are you throwing abilities at? Good backfire to avoid some damage. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was... That worked out because they overcommitted. And you played it right, but... Questionable. The panic. Just drop your turret first, bro. If you do this Vulcan build, turret goes down fucking either first or after you three. Your one will make your turret shoot them. If you hit your one, they will be the focus target of your turret. You didn't know that. You should really fucking know that. Yeah, he did go Spirit Death, so. So now he's just super late on pen. In my opinion, third item has to be percent pen. If you don't have it, which you rarely ever have a second, you third item 99.9% .9 of the time needs to be percent pen. It needs to be either 10 and then another 10% or it needs to be 20% pen. Did he forget the Loki was there? I don't think he realized the Loki went back and stayed. I don't think he had a clue the Loki was around. Also, when you play mid, you and you have a free game like this where you are not really fighting or being forced into fighting mid, you should be calling objectives. Pyro is free on most mid if the jungle shows up. Like if you and the jungle are on that pyro right when you start hitting it, it dies so fast on any mid mage. Especially ones with constant damage like Vulcan, Protoss, Merlin. Germ T, what are you talking about? This is a, a hundred percent a kill or a, a chase. That's a visual bug. That's a kill. Diablero, your sensitivity is almost guaranteed too high. You were over aiming that entire 1v1. Your only autos you landed were when you had your one up. Now that's a better Vamana ult, finally. No fucking way. He's out? 
He's out. Well, I think he's out unless his pathing's better. Those autos were very, very, very bad. Very bad. That was a bad Maui ult. There is no kill potential there in my opinion. This solo is having a good game. I'm really looking at him and Scylla and kind of the Vulcan, but not really the Vulcan. The Vulcan's been doing some questionable shit. Mainly him and the Scylla. I mean, actually, Maui's been fine until that ult right there too. Oh shit, why didn't he ult? That was a late ult. I think he just dies here. Never mind, they miss so much. They miss so much. Crazy. Objective play? Pyro, fire, gold, 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 pyro, gold, pyro, pyro, gold. Gold, gold, gold. There we go, pyro. Hi, Kelly. Wait, Cthulhu didn't have his other relic? I don't think it mattered because he's blink anyway. Uh, he didn't get a second relic till 18. What the fuck? How does that happen? 18, 22 minutes basically. He bought a second relic. Well, almost everyone's or everyone's starting to get level 20 close to it. Uh, Loki's build. I assume he's gonna go duality. Cthulhu's build's all right. Actually, Cthulhu build's kind of shit, bro. Unless this is Curse Weaver, I feel like he should have Curse Weaver right now. He's slacking a little bit on damage because of it. And the other weird builds, I like the Midgard. Not really sure how well it's gonna play out, but I don't. I like the the Midgard. Bro, all right, this Scylla build is shit. It's cooked. It, we're at the point where now, just because of the fact that you don't build percent pen, I, I'm done with your build. There's no way you're an elo hell building like this. You can't kill tanks. Good, sorry, you can't kill real human being tanks. That's wild. I don't understand how that happens. This is kind of a rough match, dude. All right, that was a horrendous engage. He's smacking. That was actually a really good engage. That ult's questionable. You don't ult there. You, you never ult there. Dude just altered the air the whole time because he was inside the Maui ult still. Yeah, he ulted. This Vamana ulted way too early. Had a great engage. And then his ulted way too early. Good beads. Still has Aegis. He's missing his knockup way too much. Almost every time I've seen him knockup, he misses. He's gonna live though. Vamana over committing into death. I kind of want to watch this back real quick. I want to watch Milkman's point of view here. All right, where are you going, Milkman? Your dude died. It's over. You're not one v one Loki. Where the fuck are you going? You hundred percent should be pathing into the into the beacon. This is the slate. You really want to be ulting target kill targets and squishies. Alright. 
Old call, any objective play? Anything? Nope. Damn, that is fucking low for a solo laner. I mean, all of this damage here is pretty low, but that is low. Equinox fucking fit. What are you doing, bro? Get the fuck out of here. Holy shit. Physical pain. This Terra has five deaths. Hachi somehow managed to come back into the game when he never should have had a chance. If someone is stuck in gold. This is why. Yeah, because you make mistakes just like these people. You're not playing any better. This is the, uh, this is the tw 20 people we've watched tonight in gold make, make the same kind of mistakes. Zulu's doing his job essentially, but it's not great. This is some sloppy gameplay. That was another Maui. Wait, that was Maui ult. Hold on. No, it was Maui ult. Good secure from red. Good blink from Vamana, but I don't. We just beads the air. We are air beadsing. Loki, you do bonus damage from behind. Fuck the gold fury from behind. Why are you face checking a gold fury? Did he hit that auto? I don't think he did. Oh, oh, I like this. He whiffed the auto, but I liked it. I like the that the play. I like that he kept going for more. All right, dude, you got a one, then auto, then two, then auto. This game is just disgusting. I'm gonna be honest. This is sloppy. This is sloppy. Go in. No way you back out of that. What? Red stole the pyro. Still, I didn't even have to ult it. Loki engage. All right. Key pity looking a little better now. Not a lot. Vulcan's pumping some damage. Ooh. Vamana was ulting the totem on cooldown and then dying after it. It was a sight to see. The Scylla's ward game goes crazy. Scylla and Hachi, goodness great. Look at this. Look at this. Seven wards from one support and 11 from the other. Y'all are slackers in the warding department. All right, Vamana's level, or Vamana, Vulcan's level 20. Soul reverse, so you kill tanks now. Yo, Scylla, wrap it up. I don't care how how decent this game ends up for you. That's the worst Scylla build I've ever seen in my fucking life. 
You have the I don't want to play the game syllable. You have the tanks don't feel my damage syllable. Meanwhile, the Vulcan has the I only kill tank build. What are we doing? Zero percent pen challenge. Don't worry, he's gonna go raw and get ten percent. If he swabs pendant with coin, it's a normal build. Well, not not first, but yeah, he's, if he has them swapped in general, that is the normal build. That's a standard build. I'm liking Soul Reaver more and more, but I do think Polly on Soul is just the play. All right, all right. Good chase out from Cthulhu. Good dash. Now we all down. Damn, they, they, yeah, that that Vulcan got run down. Cthulhu's had the best mechanical and scoreline game so far from everybody. By far from everybody. That Vulcan insta died in this fight and still has more damage than Scylla. The deicide, all of it that built up to a deicide. No end call, bro. They gotta go through so many towers that I don't even know if they would end. I honestly don't even know. I assume still is gonna go rod last, but maybe it's a Karn's coin. And then if it is, it's a pretty low power build. Have Kodos pen and end coin. It's going every item in that tree. That is enhanced fire. So this should be a free Phoenix, to be honest. There's so many towers up for both of them. All right. Wait, how much damage did Fender have? Five? Crazy. Some low damage. That's why you go hybrid finner when you're struggling. Equinox fifth item still hurts me on Vamana. He doesn't have animosity yet either at the 31 minute mark. If you're a solo laner without your starter at 31 minutes and you, I don't know, maybe you got camped or something, would be the only way that I think that would be acceptable. This still is about to get a win with no pen. Wait, what's the Kerbdis build? Yo! How do you forget the core item in your build? What the fuck is this? This guy's got 90% pen, but no kins. And this guy's got 90 fucking damage items with no pen. Terra opted for Curse Weaver. Interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Terra with a 10% cooldown build? No, thank you, sir. Come again. Try again tomorrow. Your all's builds are so fucked. Fender's build is fine. It's not great. Loki's build is fine. Vulcan's build is fine. Even the even the Hachi Titans man, I think is fine. I'd rather him have dominance. But with his passive, it's okay. This is a sloppy fight. Red's done nothing here. Red has done nothing here. I mean, they finally got a kill, but it feels like... Panic, double active ult out. You're all healthy. Go back in. No shot. It's 5v3. What are you doing? Only that it's 5v3 and all their ults are down. There's no such thing as the tower killer Scylla, my guy. Please never speak those words again. Am I 
Are ready for the weekend? I am. I think I'm gonna go to my favorite restaurant. And we wanted. It was like you want to do something this weekend, and I'm like, like what? In my head, I'm like, I know exactly where I want to go. <laughs> I didn't say anything yet, but I definitely want to fucking go there. Yo, <laughs> big pick. I mean, they should have already had a phoenix with big pick. What are, what are we looking for here, guys? Huge ult! Huge ult! Huge ult! He just saved the game! Yo! Yo! That dude is way too squishy. What is your dog shit fucking build, bro? Hold up. Bro, you have like five physical defense. And I wouldn't care if you had an AA build, but you don't have an AA build. You just have no defense and no build. Oh my god, the turret! Ah! Right, hold on, I want to watch this back. I want to watch the Milkman POV here. This all saved the game for sure. Oh my gosh. You kind of fucked up the follow-up though. You stun off of that, dude, all day. If they don't pop bees in there, you stun off that shit. You need to use your two more too. Throw it on you so your team gets movement and they can use to catch up or throw it ahead if you're trying to beat people out. That was a solid ult. Red just over committing left and right though. It's kind of wild. That was a huge follow-up Vulcan ult too. Like, I don't know if he threw that out as it happened. If he knew, then but that was good. No beach or lake? I live on a lake, essentially. I don't, I'm not a big lake, dude. Uh, I'm going to the beach next week for a concert that I don't want to go to. And then I'm going again um, in the middle of July for vacation. Yeah, I don't know if Hi-Rez just looked up my schedule or what, but them having the Smite 2 test next weekend, well, beautiful. Made it right in between all my traveling and that I'm still going to go on vacation and be ready to go for the next one. Oof. Bahamas will be nice. Be cool to see a type of build my base build couching. Wait, what? If I do the tournament, I want to. Yeah, 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 I want to. I gotta figure out uh, who I can play with or who wants to play or who's actually grinding type shit. Taking off for Elden Ring? I'm not gonna take off, but I'm streaming that shit for sure. Smite 2 is gonna have another weekend test for founders, people who have bought the game next weekend. Wait, why aren't they paused? They get free pause is supposed to be on. I hope it's on. I mean, even if it's not, why are you not paused? Why are you not paused? Why are you not paused? Why are you guys looking for a pick when there's a DC? This is insane that you guys ran at the enemy team while their ADC is DC. Right, he's back now. That is just so stupid, bro. You winning this game doesn't put you in ELO hell. Like your performance does, so that is just cringe. This is just like ranked? I mean, it is. People are fucking weird. There's too many ranked shitters right now in general. Ooh! Wait, what did he just pop? Did he get the last in here? Oh, 
it was heroism. I didn't even notice, dude. Look at that shield from heroism. Holy shit. Yeah, that item is solid. Dude, I had a DC in rank a couple weeks ago, and the dual lane started proxying it because our support DC. Like, if you need MMR that bad, there's a problem because you are not good enough to get the MMR in the first place. So you, you might want to wrap it up. Well, I don't know why they didn't pause though. Oh, Vulcan saved the day maybe. They have health, they see CHP, this is it. You should be looking for damage here as the Vulcan. Like, okay, you gotta also pay attention to the fire. All right, red secured it. That was weird. So if you're walking in there as Vulcan, you're putting your turret down so it'll do damage. You don't want to walk in and take the fire damage yourself. And then you're just looking for damage and saving your all for the secure. Instead, he stared at the fire, didn't do anything, then looked to his right through his three, and then looked back and didn't have anything set up for the fire, and then tried to ult. Bro, you ran at them when they had their DC. Let's try that again. There is no ranked in X Defiant. The trial's bullshit. There's no ranked. Oh yeah, we're not running at them or anything with the DC. We weren't trying to fight or anything. We weren't trying to fight or anything. We did rotate four people over for the, the Vamana who's running away. All our trolls. All right, let's get back to where we were. Fire, fire, like, dude, this fire defense should have been so much better for you. So much better for you. Oops. Um, we're a little bit ahead of this. All right, now we're good. We got another pick. That trade's bad, though. Hold on. You're not looking to trade your life after you get a fire giant, dude. You gotta be smarter than that. Like, fire giant enhanced fire is how you win a game. You do not lose this. You do not throw this away. If anything there, you open right back up on Fender. You definitely don't open with your one down. Your fire blink is up. Why are you looking for picks, dude? You face check opened him too. It's cool that you killed him, but you lost your fire for it. I don't think that's worth it ever. Three hundred hours on a character is not a lot of hours. I don't know if like it's that's actually like a number of people think is like a big number for a game it's for a game it's not it's not a lot of hours it's pretty like for a game that's been out for 12 years it's a, a hyper casual amount of hours x defiant is the new cod style game with abilities uh it's pretty fun but there's no rank so it's limited fun all right Let's let's rock with the Scylla for this push. See what our is he have rod now? See what our rod to hoodie only pen Scylla can do. I don't think X Defiant's clunky at all. I, I literally don't think there's any. I think it's hyper smooth. I played it for I think we got like seven or eight hours in the last three nights. No clunkiness, it just lacks ranks, so there's nothing to grind for. You're grinding out the weapons, which take forever. But uh it's not really a satisfying over over commitment, not paying attention, double active, nothing. Huge if you live, but Oh he missed. I thought that was it. They do get Phoenix though, and they live and they took out the Fender.
This Loki is crazy. Oh! <laughs> Five damage under those tanks, bro. Oh, if only you had percent pen, you would have killed them. Shocker. Get rid of that fucking goddamn Chronos pendant, that dog shit item. Well, they got all three Phoenixes. Fire is back up soonish. You all do really struggle at ending games. Get a Phoenix and overcommit into a fight for no reason. Stick around for 20 minutes later trying to get extra kills that don't matter. But you would never go coin first item on Scylla either. So once again, another excuse that is irrelevant. I do not believe you that you went Chronos pen on an accident. I'm going to be honest, but you definitely don't go co coin first item. They don't hear that? Bro, do you guys have ears? Get engaged. But they got they don't have ears. Yo. Yo, you are wild. There's no world they don't kill you. They just missed everything. 10 damage, 10 damage. Does he have kins? Yeah, I mean, Hachi's build isn't bad. It's not great. But Mana's damage is so low because of his builds. He's actually getting into fights too. That's the worst part. It's just so low because of the build. between loki and the cthulhu i'm gonna be honest the cthulhu played really good but he was against a very bad vamana player and then the loki played great in the mid to late early game was pretty questionable kind of non-existent you were you were killing the vamana but that's also because he's fucking bad that's the issue i have i'm looking at you two and you two exploited the vamana yo what the fuck are you doing buying an amulet of silence also loki you over capped on percent pen not really sure why you did that. Vamana, your build's dog shit. Going an A build and no kins. Going a late Equinox. Hyper questionable. I actually like the Fenrir build, but I just think you had no clue mechanically what you were doing. Your threes were all over the place. I don't think I saw you stun anybody. Silver Branch, not good. Silver Branch is good. But like with Hachi's build, I, I don't think he'd have capped Silver Branch stacks even with his passive. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. So I don't really mind Titan's Bane. I think he... Could have gone dominance or he could have gone silver branch and it would have been fine oh and charybdis uh oh yeah where the fuck is your kins dude where the fuck is your kins i literally just had this conversation there's a crit build and there's a kins build there is not a no item build your core item that the really confirms any adc build you just don't have any of them I'm going to let chat choose this one. So this isn't on me. If you guys are going to pick one person from this lobby and I'm just going to one person from this team, really, yeah, who would you pick for an ELO hell lobby? The alpha, you are way too high, dude. I already know who I would choose, but I, I'm going to let you guys have some input here. Oh yeah. Charybdis gets full silver wrench with this build oh, no, all day. You go Kins in this build though. All right. We're going to do it with Cthulhu. Uh, that's assuming that these two are still here is a critty and this Cthulhu is still here. The Cthulhu was who I was pretty much watching the whole game. 